Hello Patriots, Shoestring here. What we're going to talk about today is the inverter. We have discussed in some of our last videos about how a solar power system works. The solar simply charges up the battery. The battery, of course, holds all the power you're going to use. Now, from the battery, it goes to the inverter. I have here an EverStart Plus power inverter. It's 400 watts, and I got it for about $15. We're going to open it up, and I'm going to show you how this works. Take it out of the box. And, of course, the cords. Now, this inverter is pretty simple. It has plug-ins for your electrical. It has two USBs and, of course, an on and off switch. And two fuses, as well as connectors for the batteries. That's, of course, what we're going to do first. Connectors for the batteries. It has red, of course, and it has black. You have two cords. One is red, one is black. So let's go ahead and do that. We take off the red. Small connector goes on. Hopefully you can see that. And we tighten it down. Just like that. Same thing with the black that we did with the red. Red is positive. Black is negative, just like it is in your car batteries. Firm, solid connection. We have the two clamps. The red clamp, of course, goes on the red of your battery, and the black goes on the negative. So, attach the black, attach the red, connect it. Now, we're going to test it, see if it works. We go turn the switch to on, comes on. It says right there, gives us a reading. It's, if you can see that, hopefully you can. It says it is 12.9 volts. 12.9, so it is fully charged. And now it's time to do some testing. We just so happen to have some devices here that we are going to test. First, we're going to test my cell phone. Yeah, I know, it's not a fancy cell phone. But it will work. We're going to plug it in. Cell phone first. We can do this with the inverter either way. We can use the USB or we can use the regular plug-in, which is what like what your appliances have at home. We're going to do that one first. Plug the USB in. Plug it in to your inverter. And the phone comes on and starts to charge. Let it get going there. And as you can see, it is at the moment charging. All right. Let's go forward. Let's take my laptop. This, by the way, is a Dell laptop. And it cost me about $159. I like it. Doing everything, of course, on a shoestring. Power cord goes to the laptop. Unplug cell phone. Plug in the laptop. You can hear the fan coming on, hopefully. 
And here is the cord that is now lit up. It is now charging the laptop. Okay. You can also hopefully see, and I'll show it to you, the voltage has dropped 12.7 because we're using a load and there is nothing at the moment charging the battery. Even though we could go at this rate for a very, very long time. So, last thing we're going to test is a tablet. We'll go ahead and turn this off. Unplug the laptop. We'll go ahead and plug the tablet in. As soon as I can figure out where to plug it in at. There we go. This time we will use the USB instead of the regular plug-in adapter. Take it. Plug it into the USB. Turn it on. And as you hopefully you can see, it shows that it is charging. There we go. Well, okay, upside down. Shoestring does that sometimes. There it is. It is charging. Just like you can charge your devices. And that is basically how an inverter works. Energy stored in the battery. When you need it, you connect it to an inverter, and the inverter turns the power into something you can use. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. We do enjoy comments here. If you like it, click like and subscribe. Now, to like and subscribe, you do have to have a YouTube account. So if you'd like to go ahead and do that, it's free. Shoestring out.